What are the Vancouver Canucks doing? They've acquired Philip Peronic and a fourth round pick. Let me just get the. So, yeah, it's a 2023 fourth round pick they also acquire in this year's draft, 2023, in exchange for a conditional 2023 first round pick that they got in the Bo Horvat trade and Vancouver's second rounder in this year's draft. What are the Canucks doing? Why are they buying? I don't get it. Oh my God. Now, some people are wondering, I'll pull up this tweet by Rachel Dory after, maybe this means the Red Wings are in on Jacob Chikorin. They're acquiring draft picks. Let's let's talk about this. So this is what Jay Fresh's tweet first off says, then we'll go into the actual micro, micro stats. Philip Peronik, acquired by Vancouver, is a two-way top four defenseman who plays in all situations and likes to carry the puck in transition. This season has easily been his strongest. Did this wing seed as an outlier? So, like, in terms of his war percentile among all NHL players, he's just below replacement level two years ago. He consistently is going up. He's only 24. So, I mean, to see it, I don't know. I mean, clearly his defense has mainly gone up. Like, his offensive projections have been kind of linear, but then defense, I wonder if maybe he kind of goes back down that regard. He's on 4.4 million, so I guess that's two years after this one. I mean, obviously the Canucks need defensemen, but what are they doing? Now, I get it's conditional, so I believe it's lottery protected. I might confirm that quickly. This kind of did just break, but why are they doing that, man? A first and a second? You should be focused on drafting. Because, like, look, I like what Washington did yesterday in getting Rasmus Sandin, so maybe. But I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, maybe we will look at this smartly, but I don't see it the same way like I like Washington. Because Washington's getting Sandin because they don't need the picks. I guess some will argue, oh, does Vancouver really need another first-round pick? They need a young guy in Philip Peronic who fits the competitive window. I don't know, man. I don't know. I guess only time will tell if it's correct. So this is Rachel Dory's tweet, who obviously used to work for the Canucks, would have somewhat of an inside track on how they think. But she's talking about Detroit here. Are the Detroit Red Wings going after Chikrin? They now have two first-round picks and three seconds in 2023. Yeah, I imagine, because like, I don't think the Wings are going to use all of that. Cap space, uh, and they also have cap space to not send a contract back in prospects. I'm kind of wondering. Yeah, guys, I think we need to keep a track on this. All of the other teams that were in on Chikrin, besides like Buffalo, I've kind of not done anything about it. And uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I really didn't see this trade coming at all. Like, I know the Red Wings are buyers. I expected them to move a guy like Ty- Tyler Bertuzzi, and I'm wondering if that's a guy that goes to the Leafs. But I don't know, man. Let's see what we can find. I'm pro- okay, so this highlight titled Philip Peronic scores a nice deceptive goal from the point. Uh, watch the whole breakdown. I kind of like this because it gets a whole track of his game. Of course, he's going to glitch. There we go. Settle down there. Settle down. Okay, there we go. And it's funny enough, against Vancouver. I like that we can find these highlights against Vancouver. So, Horonic is... He's number 17, I believe. Right? Yeah, he's right-handed. So, look at him right here. He's got a winger on the far side calling for a shot. Let's see what he does. Nice to set the play. Skates right in. Scores. See, I like that. Because, you know, the defenseman... A goalie reading that knows that he sees the stick up from the winger and uh, that he could potentially pass it to. But Hironic has the confidence. Uh, number four right there. I don't know who... <laughs> Honestly, I don't know all the Vancouver players. I know that's Vasily Pod Colson, uh, where my mouse is hovering right here. That's uh, on Mada. But Hironic has all of this space. The Canucks are not pressuring him. And he skates in too late because number six there. Oh, that's Besser. So Brock Besser goes for the shot block. And uh, it just wasn't enough. And top shelf. Great move there by Philip Peronic, the newest Vancouver Canuck. What do you guys think of this trade? I mean, just instant social media reactions uh, on the tweet. I mean, most people are pretty shocked like I am. They they don't get what's going on. And uh, I don't think anyone really gets what's going on in Vancouver nowadays. But who knows? Maybe this is somehow a deal that ages well. I guess only time will tell. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Jordan Jacklin, and this has been the Sports Spectator. More trades to come surely as the trade deadline approaches.